Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Great day at Alan J. It is Friday. Got my hoodie on today. Feeling good. It's the last day of the second quarter. It's going to be a fantastic day, man. we got a holiday weekend coming up. Dr. King holiday on Monday. Teacher work day on Tuesday. So it's going to be a fantastic day. Hey, I'm going to start today uh, by reading Scholars of the Week. These are the first Scholars of the Week of 2022. Excited to recognize these scholars. We're going to start in fifth grade this morning. Fifth grade team is recognized the two scholars who came back to the new year charged up like double A batteries. So they're bringing positive energy daily by staying on top of assignments, putting forth their best effort in class and being kind to others. We see you and we appreciate you. Avery Mendenhall and Ian Khan. Congratulations to those two fifth grade scholars. Hey, in sixth grade, they would like to recognize two scholars uh, Coach Durham writes, integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching. And this quote defines two of our scholars perfectly. They're a joy to teach. and You can count on them to lead by doing the right thing. It says they are consistent. They're focused. They participate in each one of their classes. Another awesome quality is how they get along with their peers and they're always willing to help. We notice your hard work and commitment to being an AJP leader. Kennedy Garner and Jackson Adams. Congratulations, guys. All right. Seventh grade. They've recognized two young men this week. The first scholar's positive attitude has really shown this week. He's worked hard, not given up. We appreciate him pressing forward and doing the right things. He makes his core teacher smile with his funny personality, and he's always a joy to be around. He finished the second quarter off strong, and we're excited to see what he could do with the third. Treshawn Norton. Congratulations, Treshawn. And also, this young man is always respectful, handles difficult situations in an outstanding way. He strives to understand the material, asks great questions to clarify any misunderstandings he has. He wants to assist his teachers any way he can, and we appreciate his doer spirit. It's Dominic Bays. Congratulations to those two young men. <clears throat> All right, in eighth grade. They want to recognize the following scholars for showing courage each and every day in the classroom. They model integrity first. They serve others. They continuously do what is right. They're motivated. They're persistent. They have a growth mindset. The improvement they have shown over the course of their time at AJP is exactly why Alan J. Prep continues to be an excellent place to learn and grow, not only as a scholar, but as an individual. We're proud of the progress these scholars have made. Good job. Good job. Jordan Adams and Allison Gregorio Martinez. Congratulations to those scholars of the week. If you would, those eight scholars, take a walk down to the media center and see Miss Nelson. We'd like to get your picture and put it on our Facebook page. Let her go into your parents as well. Well done. Hey, I've got some information to share with you today. So I'm going to jump over to our presentation today and just kind of close us out with our leadership lesson. You know, we uh, have been talking about being courageous and what it means to be a courageous leader. And so we're going to spend some time kind of chatting, chatting about that again this morning. But I do want to give you just a couple of announcements. So as you leave today, just like you should each and every day, I want to be sure that you are taking your tablet home with you. There is the potential that we've got some weather coming in over the weekend. I know everybody's heard about it. And, you know, the weather may cause roads to still be in poor condition uh, Wednesday morning. So if that's the case, Guilford County could call a remote learning day. And you want to be sure that you have your device so you can connect, you can get to Canvas. Also, we will be sending out information um, to all of our scholars about when your meetings will be because we practiced our team's meetings uh, last week. And we will have opportunity for everybody to get in a room with teachers. So be sure you have your device and be sure also if we announce a remote learning day that you're checking your Canvas page for updates and announcements. So that's the what if that's listed right there. All right, guys, there's your point totals for the week. Looks like Savio House is still in the lead, but we've got some time today to see if we can make a change to that. So be sure you're earning at a high level and not losing any points. Good gracious. Make sure you're not doing things that would cause you or your house to lose points. On January the 28th, we will have our Scholar Dollar event. You'll be able to cash those dollars in for all kinds of activity, food, prizes, that kind of stuff. All right, so here's the definition we've been working on this week. It's courage, having the determination to do the right thing. We heard that in one of our Scholar of the Week announcements, and also attempting difficult things that are worthwhile. I think that's an important part of being courageous, is that when you know something is worthwhile, you're willing to attempt it, even though it may be very difficult. So We've been talking about Dr. King and his courageous leadership, and we've told some stories that he wants to share with us and that he would like to advise you with. Talked about being kind and considerate towards others. This is so critically important to being an effective leader. You have to know how to be kind, how to treat other people with respect, how to be considerate of other people's feelings, and then you have to also be willing to take some action. So those were two of the lessons that came from Monday when we talked about Ruby Bridges' story. 
We also talked about the concept of believing in yourself. He would certainly encourage you to believe in what you are capable of doing. So be a believer in yourself. Uh, we also discussed that he was a family man, his dad, his mom, his brothers, um, his kids. He was certainly in, uh, saw the importance of family, and he remembered that like he represented his family. I love the way that he and his family dressed every time they went to church or out in public. He was always, you know, suit and tie, very respectable. And so remember, you represent your family. Your parents send you here to be a great leader, to be a great learner. So be sure you represent them in a positive way. We talked about being a doer. As we close out this week, man, I want to encourage you, don't sit around and just watch things happen. Be a doer. Get involved. And so yesterday, we spent some time talking about this young lady and how Rosa Parks was courageous, and she knew that she was going to do what was right, even if nobody else did. We said that they asked four individuals to get up and move. Three of them did. She said, I'm not. I think this is the right place for me. I'm sitting in the section that's designated for me. And so even though it cost her you know, getting fined and having to go to jail for a night, she did the right thing, okay? All right, so as we move forward into the last lesson of the week, I want to just remind you that I want you to be a risk taker. I want you to make a positive impact on others. I want you to remember what others have done before you to do good things, to change society for good. And I want you to think about this last lesson that Dr. King shares with us. He says, and he would tell you today, you have one life to live, all right? Use it to do what? Make as much money as you can, become famous, you know? No, he would say, use your life to serve other people. We say integrity first, service above self, and excellence, excellence in all we do. And he would share with you that his goal for you, his advice to you, is to use your life to impact other people in a positive way. About seven years ago, President Obama gave this speech on Martin Luther King Day. It's two minutes long, but I want you to listen to President Obama. Now, we said that uh, Dr. King was a, a phenomenal orator, which means a great public speaker. President Obama was skilled in that area as well. So listen up as you hear President Obama share this morning. Hi, everybody. Today, we pay tribute to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We reflect on the lessons of his life. That extraordinary change begins when ordinary men and women are willing to stand up for the progress they seek. We draw strength from his unbending commitment to justice and his unwavering conviction in the moral force of nonviolence. And just as we celebrate the progress he helped inspire, we recommit ourselves to our unfinished work, defending the dignity and equality of all people. That's why today we come together in a national day of service, because as Dr. King once said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Today, Americans across our country are answering that question through their actions. They're cleaning up parks, visiting hospitals, working at food banks, and reading to children. They're doing their part to honor Dr. King by heeding his call to serve. To everyone out there volunteering today, thank you. And to everyone who wants to join in, it's not too late. Just go to www.mlkday.gov to find a project happening right now near you. Dr. King is an inspiration to millions around the world, including me. We feel his legacy all around us, in our schools, our communities, our halls of government, and most importantly, in our hearts, how we treat each other, in the simple acts of kindness and respect that bind us together as one American family. That was Dr. King's dream, that one day all Americans would treat each other as brothers and sisters. Let's all do our part to make that dream real, not just today, but every day. So, so many good words there coming from President Obama, but the quote that he uses is one, it's my, one of my favorite quotes from Dr. King. He says, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? That's what it's all about, guys. So I hope you'll be thinking about that. So every Martin Luther King Day, we're out of school, but we always say that it's not a day off. It's a day where you can have an opportunity to serve. And so there will be multiple service projects going on this weekend. If you get involved in one of those, great. Sometimes there's parades, there's opportunities to uh, work at food banks. I know A&T, UNCG, High Point University, they have all kinds of opportunities for their students. So if you find yourself in one of those opportunities, serve 
take a picture of it, send it to me. I want to be sure to recognize the service that many of our scholars will be putting out there. But you know, you don't have to wait for like a campaign or a parade or go to a food bank. There'll be plenty of opportunities to serve, I guarantee you. You know, if it snows on Sunday, Monday morning, there might be an opportunity to shovel somebody's sidewalk or driveway, take somebody's trash to the road, make go check on people, be sure everybody's got heat and power. Um, just think about ways that you might be able to serve over the weekend, okay? So again, I hope you have learned some things about how to be a courageous leader. Our uh, Leaders Creed is presented here. It certainly reminds us of the commitment that we make each and every day at Allen J. Prep to grow as leaders. So teachers, I'll give you an opportunity to pause this morning if one of your scholars would like to present Leaders Creed to your classroom. Each and every day, we offer an opportunity to participate in the Pledge of Allegiance, just like President Obama said. Um, we feel Dr. King's presence, his dream that every citizen would be treated equally. That's what the pledge says. I'm committed to it. I hope you are as well. I invite you to stand. If you'd like to participate in the pledge this morning, I encourage you to stand and I'll lead us in it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, guys, treat one another well today. Have a fantastic Friday. Appreciate all of our teachers. Hope you guys have a great day.